So today I'm going to teach you 10 more tricks and tips on your Samsung Galaxy phone. This apply on One UI 6.1.1 or One UI 6.1 and you need to have a good lock or a fine lock in order to make this work. As some of them is require that and most of them you don't require to have a good lock. So the first First trick I'm going to teach you is if you go to the setting and right here, you're going to go into a lot of these searching, right? Let's just say one of the setting you're going to be using a lot. Okay. Let's just say for me, sometimes I have to switch languages, Chinese to English, English back to Chinese because I have a Chinese channel and English channel. So if I search language, this is how I change language right here. If I use this a lot, I can just hold this and then they will ask me, do you want to add this shortcut to the home page? When I press that, now you can see my home page has a button right there to change language. When I press that, I can change my language anytime I want. Very, very simple. How do I do that? Basically is yes, you need to go to good log. And then when you go to a good log, you have to go to a register. Okay, let it run. And then when we go down right there, it should be here or at the bottom here. And then we're going to go to register. When we go to the register, you need to go to here, search option right here. When you press search option, you can actually allow creation of a shortcut right there. You need to turn this on. Once you turn this on, make sure that every time when you go to the setting, you need to go to the search button. You cannot say, oh, I want this and you press. It doesn't work that way. You have to search a certain um, features. Let's just say I want sound. I always go to the sound. Sound assistant, super sound, whatsoever. Now you, you hold it. Now you can add a shortcut at the bottom of your screen. Okay, you can see that. And now when you press add, it will go to your homepage just like that. Very simple. So I guess everybody know Apple have AirDrop. We have called this thing called Quick Share. In order to do Quick Share, you know that you have to go to like gallery or file or APK file to go to um, share something. Let's just say I want to share like an image, right? I can share an image, press share, and then you can quick share to your Samsung friends or even any Android device, okay? So you can do quick share to your computer. Did you know the next trick is, you can actually share the entire folder. Let's just say this is my folder right here, okay, right there. And now I can actually quick share the whole entire folder by just pressing quick share and then that's it. And then the whole entire folder, I can transfer this into another phone, into another phone, or my tablet, or my computer. Very, very simple. And iPhone cannot do AirDrop for the entire folder. Did you know if sometimes you have a QR code on internet, did you know that on the One UI 6.1.1, you can actually just press this, tap on the QR code, it will lead you to a website, copy link and share. And now when you say website, it will actually jump to a website. Sometimes you will have a QR code on a certain um, page. How can you scan it, right? So this is a way to actually scan a QR code, okay? Just pretend, okay? There's a QR code on, on there, on whatever you want. And now you just hold it and tap it now you can actually go straight to the QR code. You know what I'm saying? So it's super, super easy, super simple. And this is how it works. On when you are 6.1.1, circle to search. So the next feature is, it's actually when you are 6.1 or when you are 6.1.1, new features, okay? So let's just say we are going to be typing here and then we're going to go to a keyboard right here. Samsung Galaxy keyboard, there's a, this thing called AI, as you can see. 
you can ask the AI to generate a text right away. So now let's just say I'm going to be, how are you? And now you can actually use the AI to do everything for you. So when you press that, the AI will do his thing and then they will give you some options what you want to do. And then you can actually copy or insert to replace the text you want to do. Let's just say if I want to do some type of a description on my YouTube, let's just say, I can actually start doing a brief, uh, the brief summary, what I want to write, okay? Let's just say this is the summary that I wrote, okay? Now you can use the AI to highlight this and help you to rewrite whatever you want to do. And now you can see there, it, they rewrite everything for me again. And then there's casual, there's show show, there is like polite, everything. So you can actually replace this, okay? Just by tapping that, and then you can actually press save. Super easy to be a YouTuber if you want to write a description. Did you know you can customize your Samsung keyboard? Whatever you want, you can see this at the bottom here. This is all customized because I put a certain keys into the keyboard because I use it a lot. So this one here is very different what you have right now because I customize it. How do I do that? Did you know that you can actually go to your good lock? Okay. And then right here, there will be a key cafe right there. And then when you go to key cafe, you actually can customize your keys, every single keys and then just become your own regular keyboard. Make your own keyboard, okay? Let's just say we are going to go to English because I have English, Chinese, and symbols. This is what everybody should have, right? If not Chinese, you can do something else, right? And then now I can add this. This is the regular keyboard. When you press edit, you can actually bring whatever the keys, there's so many of them, even emojis, you can actually drag this down. Let's just say I love this heart. And then I can place it right down there and let it go. And now this heart will be there for you. And you can actually make it skinnier. Okay. You can make it wider, whatever you want. You can see right now it's actually right beside the space bar. Okay. If you do not want that, you can just like press here, redo everything, right? Back to normal. Okay. So this is how you actually can customize your keyboard, take your time, and then you can actually do whatever you want. Some people complain the numbers is not at the top. You can actually put the numbers at the top. You can put the double digit on the top. You can actually replace these type of numbers as well, whatever you want. So Samsung Note, you can actually share your notes with other Samsung users. Right here, you click there. And then you can see there's a this thing called Samsung Notes, okay? Share Notes. When you share this note, basically you can write it, you can write it on the same note. All you have to do is you share this link to your friend, okay? Which he has a Samsung phone. And then when you share that link, it will pop up like this, okay? I didn't touch it, it will pop up like this. And now you can actually quick share to your friend. I just say, want to share to that. And now, that friend will have this link and then now you press that and now you will be at the same note. He, so I say accept and now you two will be the same thing. Okay. Share notes. Okay. And now you guys can write notes, uh, each other and there will be no problem. Okay. You can see that whatever I type, it will show up right here. Whatever you type, it will show up on his phone too. So this is a very good way. If you want to share some notes and you want to jot down something together as a brainstorm, this is the fastest way to actually share ideas together. Google Book Sharing. Did you know that you can actually share gallery or album as well too? So basically on the three dot right there, you can actually share album. And then in here, you can actually press plus and then share album, go to the same link. 
You can go to the same place to share your link to him, okay? And then now, same thing, I need to press this, okay? And then now, when, when I get into this here, we will be at the same album, okay? Now I can put pictures into this album so he can download it. This, you can put whatever the picture you want as well too, and then he can download it. So both of you guys can share the same album, okay? Whatever the picture you put in, there's only five gig you can use, but you guys both basically can share photos on the same album. He, he is not right beside you, and you guys both went on the trip, and this is the best way to share album and download for each other. Sometimes we are afraid that we're going to run out of battery, so we usually keep it time out a little bit shorter. After 15 seconds, they will do the lock screen, or after 20 seconds, 30 seconds, you will time out the time. Did you know that if, so if I go up like this, you can see I can change my screen out time to shorter time. You see that? I can change. So if I go like this, I can go 30 seconds. Now it will actually, 30 seconds later, it will just time out blank, black screen, whatever. Now if I want it longer, I just go like this, and then I will turn to 10 minutes. Now this screen will stay on for 10 minutes. How do I do that? You have to go on the one hand operation no plus, and then when you press there, you have to go left handle or right handle, whatever you want, whatever your convenience for you. And then right here, you can see, I swipe up right diagonally up, and then you need to look for screen timeout. Now, when you've done this, basically what you have to do is, you, you don't have to hold it, you just flick it. It will show you that what timeout you want to do. I say 30 seconds, so 30 seconds, it will just like black screen. 10 sec minutes, it will be a black screen. You can control whatever you want, depends on your situation. So did you know on the Samsung Galaxy phone, if you like squeeze like that, and then you go to the wallpaper and style, you can actually change the color according to your wallpaper color. What I'm trying to say is, let's just say I'm gonna change the wallpaper. Let me change one of these. I, I Let's say yellow, right? Okay. And then I'm gonna change the whole wallpaper. Press done. Okay. And now if you go down right there, you can actually change the color, okay, you see the palette. You can change the color whatever you want. And these colors is basically, is based on whatever your wallpaper color is. Very simple, right? If you like this, apply. Now your whole entire phone, we're talking about the dial keypads, your uh, settings, your textings, everything will change to yellow, you can see that, because your wallpaper is basically yellow. This is pretty, pretty cool features. Any type of color wallpaper, they will change into that color, matching with your wallpaper color. So the final features I would like to show you is, is a hotspot password. So let's just say if you're sharing your hotspot, mobile hotspot, you go into there, okay? Let's just say you go for a hotspot, right? And then let's just say someone actually want to share, uh, want to ask for your hotspot password. Did you know that you can actually change your hotspot password anytime you want? So let's just say this is your password, okay? No problem, this is your password, right? Okay, and then you just show it to them, and then you just say, you know what? I don't want them to use like five, uh, five gigahertz. I want them to a little bit slower. Do whatever you want. But however, did you know that at the bottom right there, you can see one-time password. And this one-time password, it will be constantly changing. So once they type this one-time password, this is it. The next time when they want your hotspot, they have to change another password. As you can see, if I keep turning off and on, okay, off and on, or even though I can reset the password right there, you can see that, and then every single time it will be a different password with no issue so it will be safer for you so these are the 10 features you need to know about your samsung phone a lot of them basically apple cannot really do it some of them 
and then basically you just need to show off your Samsung device. All right. Please subscribe my channel and share this video and I will have another video very soon. All right. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye bye. Peace out.